What we give to children is the ability to say, yes, I can. And if they say, yes, I can, then they will. To put it in a word, Geshe is a bridge to the future. So the school is highly effective. You know, we didn't hold back on hiring the highest caliber level of social workers, teachers, therapists, psychologists, uh, reading specialists, math specialists. We have phenomenal staff members, incredible teachers, top professionals in the field. My name is Sherry Ferrari. I am certified in 14 Gillingham and the Wilson uh, program. Uh, here at Geshe Yehuda, we use various multi-sensory techniques um, in reading. I find at Geshe Yehuda, they've just been able to create that perfect blend and combination of professionalism and warmth that the students need. Everybody's here trying to help each other. It's like you can do it. There was one kid that loves to give me like a goodbye handshake or like I'll see you tomorrow type of handshake and anytime I'm walking down the hall like they'll say hi rabbi what's doing rabbi how are you and everything. Watching the teachers hands on um, being with the students hands on and they became like a second family to me. Most people use a fraction of their ability in their brain. I don't know if the statistic was maybe 10% of their brain cells or 10% of the potential is used. So if a child has a disability it doesn't mean he's not capable of learning, it doesn't mean he's not capable of succeeding, but sometimes he has to be taught in a way that's not the same for every other child. And Gesher is able to individualize a curriculum for this child and find a way to teach him in a way that is appropriate for him. Some children need scaffolding for their learning. My old school, there would be like 30 kids and there'd be like one teacher and I couldn't learn. So we're in a mainstream class and we have 20 or 25 students learning from one teacher at one time. Here we may have a class of 10 with three groups going on with three students per teacher. The level of, of individual's attention is something that cannot be compared to a, a mainstream classroom. Educational directors uh, will set up the curriculum and work with the teachers to ensure that each child is really getting what it is that they need. There's a lot of interaction between the entire team. We work together and we have team meetings uh, periodically where we discuss each student. Our Judaic Studies program parallels um, the Secular Studies program. So the same type of skills and techniques that they're being, that are used in the morning for when they learn English, reading, math, social studies, science, Again, the rabbis and teachers utilize those skills and strategies and techniques in the afternoon, so it's reinforced throughout the day. I've been involved with Gesher for now well, close to 20 years. I'm considered the rabbi of the school, so I get to see what they're doing up close. I get to come to the yeshiva at all the events that they have for parents. I'm there every Rosh Chodesh to talk to the children. I'm there a few times a month just to test the kids. One boy that was selectively new today is the Baal Korea and Chazan for one of the main shuls in the community. There are girls that had their own issues in speech that became speech therapists. I love the product so much that when one of my children that I felt fit the Geshe model I had no hesitation and I sent them there and it worked. The bridge worked, it got him to the other side and now my son Jacob is in a mainstream school. My own son, he went on to uh, Flybush after a few years, became Chidon Tanakh and then became an honor student in high school and then went on to uh, Nicole Honors College. And I think that's the spirit of Gesher. They take a child, they build him up, they give him the tools and they equip him to deal with the world. <laughs>